What's up, BBG gang? It's been a while since the last time you guys seen anything on the channel. Uh, here we are today. What I'm going to be doing is I picked these up at the junkyard the other day. They're black door panels for my LS. Um, if you guys don't follow me on Instagram or got me on Facebook, I did sell the 400. Sold it to a buddy of mine. Um, I just had too many projects going on and I, I'd rather focus on my main LS because this is the one that I've put so much work into already. Uh, basically what we got here is some black OEM door panels. Like I said, I picked it up at the junkyard um, Along with some other things. I got them for a really really good deal um, If you guys don't know as well, uh, I had already started painting my old door panels But after a while with me not clear coating them, this is what they looked like So if you guys were to go the route of painting your door panels or any other interior pieces I would recommend that you guys put a clear coat over it because if not like I said, it looks like that. <laughs> it looks like... It looks like it was made by a two-year-old monkey on a farm. <laughs> that after a while starts flicking off and you don't want that. Um, it did look good for a while um, till me and my family actually started using this car every day. So that's what happens with everyday use. If you're not using it every day, then I don't think you have to worry about it. But like I said, you can't go wrong with OEM ever. Um, I'm not just gonna leave it like this. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take it apart, clean it up, and whatnot. Um, I also picked up some quilted diamond material. Picked it up off eBay for like uh, 25, 26 bucks. Can't really complain about the quality because it's cheap and it looks really, really good. Um, that's gonna be going right here in between that. I'm thinking about putting it somewhere else. I'm not too sure. I don't want to go overboard with it uh, because I do want to use it in other places in the interior. Um, yeah, it's basically just going to fill in all these parts on all four door panels. Maybe right here, but I like the 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 suede or whatever carpet look right there. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll update you guys once I start taking shit apart and I'll get back to you. To those of you who wanted to do this as well, uh, to your LS, and you've never taken apart your door panel, I've done it a bunch of times, so I know pretty much what all I gotta do. You gotta get that screw, that screw, and follow the lines along right there. And then this top piece will come off. And then you're also gonna wanna take off this part, which is the armrest. So what you're gonna do, once again, you're just gonna follow the screws, look for all the screws. They're actually cutouts right here in the foam for them. And then you're just gonna follow the shape of the what you're gonna wanna take off. And it's that simple. And just like I said, it's super, super simple. You're just gonna follow the shape of it around that, and then around that, and then it basically just falls apart. And then here's what you're left with. So as you can see, um, I don't know if I'm going to staple it because I don't have access to a staple gun right now. I might go out and buy one. Um, what you're going to do, you're just going to uh, first wipe it off, of course. Uh, wax and grease remover, as always, because you're going to be spraying a spray adhesive on there. Here's what I'm using, uh, headliner adhesive. And I might go out as well and get some different shit. I don't know, depending on how well this is going to uh, hold up says it takes 60 minutes to dry. I'm at work, I don't got that much time. So, uh, we'll see. And here's where the staples would go if I was to use the staple gun, which like I said, I might end up going to do that just because I want it to hold up. But I know a lot of you don't have access to staple guns, so I might do one of them just with the headliner adhesive just to see how well it holds up. 
Um, because if it holds up pretty good, then we'll just leave it like that. Because like this, uh, everything on this channel, it, it's to a budget. So everybody doesn't have access to the tools and you know, we just do what we got or we use what we got. All right guys, so here's me wrapping up the very first door panel that I'm doing. The other one's over there drying on top of the car. Or it's actually dry. Um, I went ahead and assembled the rest of it to see how it's gonna look. And I'm pretty happy with how it came out. Only thing I'm not happy about, and I'm gonna figure out how to clean that up at the end. Um, yeah, it's that part. That's it. And all I did was glue it down. I didn't use any staples. Um, when I did bolt everything on, I poked holes through the fabric and then um, screwed in the screws. That way it's, it's actually held in. It acts as a staple, but it's not a staple. Um, let me just show you. So it's pretty much the same thing. It's sloppy as fuck, but oh well. I'm going to do some cleaning up after the fact, after I get the rest of those done. Uh, it's not a major factor right now. Uh, it's just a rev draft. So, this is what the end result looks like, like I said, which is a lot better than what it looked like before with the paint. I mean, if that's all you got is paint, go ahead and do that. But if you can find black door panels, start uh, with those from the beginning. That way it saves a lot of time. Happy with how my car is coming out slowly but surely. I'm trying to get it ready for this car show that we're going to be having uh, next month for my job I didn't get to um, put my car in last year because I was working it I think I'm gonna be working it this year but I'm still gonna have my car parked there that's why I'm trying to get the last or these couple little things done before before then I know my car is gonna be the only VIP style car there so gotta represent Okay, so since I didn't want it to look like complete ass, what I did was I went out to AutoZone and I bought some of the um, some of that chrome trim that you can put around uh, that all the old heads, you know, they put on every part of their car. Uh, it was like 20 bucks. And where I'm putting it is right here. I'm putting it on the outer part just so, it, um, and then I'm gonna cut the, what's showing right there. That way you don't see it. And it just cleans up the edges a lot more and gives it that nice little, that classy touch. So it's a lot better than, it's a lot better than that, that's for sure. I mean, I'm not knocking my work, but I kinda am. It is what it is. That's the spray painted panel. So this is coming out. Oh, that's coming out. And the new ones are going in. I'm gonna finish up the front ones either today or tomorrow, probably tomorrow. Uh, Cause I got a lot of shit going on here at work, so. It is what it is, work comes first. But yeah, just wanted to update you guys before I put them in the backs. These are the rears. So I'm doing the rears first and then the fronts first. That way it doesn't look too crazy or too mismatched. Should've did one side at a time, but oh well, fuck it. And I'll show you guys once I get one on. Give it that good old side by side. This is the exact panel per panel. Spray paint, OEM black. This is still hella dirty. I haven't cleaned it off other than that part where I put the material on. As you can see, the OEM black is just a lot more clean. Um, if I took my time with this one, I'm pretty sure it would've came out good. I also didn't spray a clear coat on it. So I could have sprayed a matte clear on it. This is just a gloss black um, natural finish, no clear coat at all. And I think if I would have sprayed that matte, uh, matte coat, matte clear coat on there, it would have came out looking like this. But oh well. I'm a, uh, I think I'm gonna give these to my boy Junior. Um, go ahead and follow on my Instagram. I'm gonna drop his Instagram name right there. Check his shit out. Hit him up. My guy's a static, uh, static head. So you know. Gotta show him some love too. So here we are, uh, third time changing it up. I got a new smaller tank from out of the 400. Uh, bought it back from the, the homie who I sold it to because he's going static. Uh, so I'm testing everything, making sure everything's uh, working right, the pressure switch and all that shit. 
Uh, I only bought it because it's hella small so I could tuck it where it was in the 400 and put it over there in the corner. That way I still got my sub space and all that shit. I could put the stroller in there. And that was one of the cons of having this setup over here. Couldn't really do much with my tank or my tank <laughs> with my trunk. So, you know, I want it to be family friendly. Basically, here's what the finished product looks like because I haven't really uh, recorded anything. The finished door panels, I still got to work on the center console uh, because like I said, I bought the whole management from the 400. So I got those switches as well. So I'm gonna be getting rid of the, that uh, gauge and these switches right here. Get it back to looking uh, OEM. Just a quick update on my uh, my life as well. I started school, guys. So from 7.30 to, 7.30 in the morning to three in the afternoon, and then from 3.30 to 9.45 at night. That's my work and school schedule. So that's why I haven't really been uploading much. I mean, it's only for six months, so it's not too bad. I'm going for auto body and collision refinishing. So, you know, I gotta work for my family. Got the Celsius lace, lace covers, central pine diamond stitch. I'm trying to have everything, you know, match. That's the way that chrome came out. It's not too bad. This motherfucker's not turning off no more. I just had everything all wired up. I think it's leaking from the fitting at the end though. So that's why the pressure switch isn't working. But, when in doubt, it's exactly what I got that switch wired up for. For situations like that. <laughs> Nigga Dave pulled up on me right now. Nigga, they eating breakfast? What, what you got? Shit, you know, free dance. Pay for one, got another one for free. Yeah, hey, I love that vending machine. <laughs> free shit all day. <laughs> all right. Oh, yep, big leaking. You can hear it. So I'm going uh, to figure out what uh, where, what's causing it to leak. It's probably because I grabbed that motherfucking fitting with a vice grip not too long ago. Actually, I think they took care of it. So there's that. But cool. So I'm gonna take the carpet off that setup over there and put it back in here so then that way it looks clean again. Uh, put my sub back in. Oh yeah, I got a new sub for uh, the other day. Uh, whoever has me on Facebook, they know, they seen it. It's already fucked up too. I had it with, like I said, limited space, so it was hitting this part right here. Oh well, I mean, still works, but that's probably what fucked up the original sub. <laughs> all right, so I appreciate all the love you guys been showing, running up the numbers, the views, the, the shares, all that shit, the likes, subscribes. I'm almost at 800 subscribers. That's right, 800. Got three more months uh, until June, which I'm trying to hit my thousand uh, thousand K subscriber goal. But you guys, you know, you know what to do. Go ahead and smash that like button, share it with your friends, and keep coming back. I'll see you guys in the next one. We out. Slang it granted, now I'm branded. Ghost gang, what I bang in my flight just landed. YouTube shit, I ran it. I like pouring my bitch, she can't stand it. But still, I ran it. I walk around with my chin up, nigga. My chest out without a doubt, and I've been up, nigga. Re up since how I fill up, nigga. Then I'm straight to the bank like a brick truck, 